What's going on guys? I'm back and I'm going to be working with Let's Defend to create a new course called Analyzing Malicious Documents. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the Let's Defend channel and also subscribe to mine. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. All right, we have the course content. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be installing Remnux. Then we're going to be doing static analysis on malicious documents. Then we're going to analyze those malicious documents and extract the malicious scripts or code that is in it. And lastly, we're going to be doing dynamic analysis on these malicious documents by using sandboxes. Since sandboxes are going to tell us a lot of information and make things easy for us. Okay, why should we be worrying about Microsoft Office documents? The reason why is because attackers have taken advantage of documents by using macros. Don't worry, I will explain what that is in the next slide. And macros have been used by malicious actors to deliver malware and destroy your computer. Okay, what are macros? So macros are small programs that are often written to automate annoying tasks and Microsoft Office applications. And macros are typically written in Visual Basic for applications or also known as VBA. And that is a programming language made by Microsoft that is supported by all Microsoft Office products. Okay, this is the danger where you should be looking out for. So when you open up a Microsoft Office document like Excel or a Word doc, you're gonna see this warning right here it says security warning macros have been disabled and like i mentioned before there's a reason why they are disabled so as soon as you click that button enable content your whole computer gets destroyed so please do not click this button ever wherever you see it and they even give you a warning but unfortunately people still click it all right these are going to be things you're going to see in the future lessons. So we're going to be is installing Remnex on VirtualBox. We're going to be using command line tools like XF tool strings and Zor search and more. And we're also going to be using Ola VBA and VM monkey to extract malicious macros. And last but not least, we're going to be throwing these malicious documents in sandboxes like any run hybrid analysis and more. Don't worry if you're confused on anything. I'll explain it as we go on in the future videos. I hope you guys enjoy this short little introduction. Don't worry, I'm never going to be going over any slides. We're going to be doing the hands-on stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and peace.